Now for this month's field test, where it's Karate versus Crystalline in the ultimate panel punishment test. Hi all, we're here in Adelaide with Wineco's Blair Pester, and the purpose for today's field test is to discover just how easy is it to damage a solar panel. Now in theory, they should last till almost the rest of my life. After all, the top panel brands have a product warranty of 25 years plus. But Blair, it's not as simple as that, is it? It's not. A lot of things can go wrong in the installation of solar panels and then the transportation of solar panels, even just while it's on the roof. Anyone who's accessing your roof can stand on it or massive hailstorms. So today I brought some tools to show you how we can identify what damage is done to a module. And that can be quite hard, can't it? Because a lot of the damage is often invisible to the naked eye. Absolutely. And these panels here look mostly perfect. What equipment are we going to use to look for panel damage? What we do have is a FLIR camera, which is a thermal camera. Yep. Much like how the Predator used to hunt down Arnie. And we've got some modules over here that we've short circuited. And the purpose of short circuiting is so that we can shunt all of the power in the module back through the cells that are damaged. So three old panels, mm -hmm. unknown condition. True condition will be revealed by the Predator camera. It sure will. Let's go and see what's happening on the camera. Perfect. So what we're seeing right now is each of the cells starting to heat up. Just to be clear, blue is cold, red is hot. Okay, so on the far right panel, what's going on with the one? far right hand panels? It, I'd say it's had a hard life. Okay, should we go and have a closer look at that panel? With the camera? Sure, yeah, let's do that. So this, this panel's looking a bit shady. Now I'd say just looking at this, it's got a lot of impact marks. So this is what we'd classify as a stood on mark. Yep, right there, and it's getting quite warm. Sorry, this cell here, which looks pretty much perfect to the naked eye, is also being shown on the thermal imaging camera to be absolutely buggered. All right, so we've seen that some of these panels aren't in very good shape. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now let's see what happens after we give them some abuse. You filthy panels! You suck! You'll never pay back your energy debt! Complete waste of time! You're only installed by greenies who are virtue signalling. Should have gone coal. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for, Blair and I are going to stand on a solar panel and see who does the most damage. You seem to be holding up all right. Yeah. They are designed to hold uh, just up to two metres of snow. Good to know in Adelaide. The next test is the Abusi Karate Kiki one. <laughs> Do you know how strong I am? All right, you ready? <laughs> Embracing. You right, big fella? I'll survive. <laughs> the things I do for solar. Okay. Well, while you're limping around, we pick the panels up and put them back on the shelf. Thank you very much. Very kind. So the panels have been well and truly punished. And now we're going to see what damage has been done. Some new fresh damage where it's getting a cell is starting to shunt. So I guess this is where you would have been standing on it. Check out the karate kick. Look at that. I'm proud. So one thing we've learned today, don't karate kick your solar panels. Yes, bad. Although I'd say that uh, if I'm being honest, standing on it was worse than karate kicking. If you have a choice, karate kicking or standing, karate kick. To answer the question I started with, just how easy is it to damage a solar panel, I've got to say, you don't have to jump on them, you don't have to karate kick them. If you don't look after them, yes, it is quite easy to damage a solar panel. So make sure you're using panels from a manufacturer that packages them properly. Make sure you're using installers that know how to handle them. And the other thing we've learned is you can't see the damage always with a naked eye. So thanks, Blair. Or should I call you Arnie? This is Arnie and the Karate Kid signing off for Solar Quotes TV. For more information on panels, inverters, or any other solar products, go to our website.
And please jump on our social media channels if you ever have a question.